I'm going to give you a fairly high level view of what I expect to see as we move through the balance of this year and into 2021 when it comes to the US economy and obviously Washington state and our regional economy. Seattle's not going away. I think everyone's predicting what's going to happen for the next several years on what's happened in the last five months. I don't buy it. Seattle is going to stay strong. I think it's a great market to be in. I think people are going to realize that a little bit too late. And I think there's going to be some investors and some owners that feel really good about their Seattle investment. In about 24 months, we're just seeing a balancing of these two markets versus a rush out of it, which it feels like today. You might ask, how does the city of Seattle prohibit rent increases and control rent increases in commercial tenancies? But there are some challenges. One of those challenges is that some of the outcomes, some of the things that have occurred within the eviction moratorium remain permanent. But really there's only two things I want you to look at, and those are these, retail trade and leisure and hospitality. Why are they important? Well, they're important because they represent one job in five in America. And it's something we're gonna see this trend carrying forward in the winter as we're about to tick over into October. So it's something that we're really keeping an eye out on. We had a lot of stability in March and April, and you can see once we hit April, they really started to pick up. Now onto rent collection. Rent collection remains low compared to year over year across all asset left asset classes, but overall is in a relatively strong con condition given the economic effects uh, affecting our region and our communities. Now turning to actual concession rates, this is something that is new for us to talk about is concessions in existing product. Uh, this is employment in your sector in Washington State. You're not quite back to where you were before COVID-19 hit, but you're pretty darn close. And if we look at it uh, locally to the Seattle metro area, well, you clearly have come back. In the suburban markets, rents have been increasing to some extent, or at least staying flat, but we have more collection loss. And I'd say in the suburban markets, we're seeing anywhere between seven to 10% collection loss. And what we're getting across the market is probably about 5% across the board. Very, very tough. However, when you spin it around, look at the recovery. We've recovered about 108,000 of those jobs, so not quite 50% of the jobs lost. Uh, however, we are seeing that improvement. But what I really want to focus on is even in this downside, they're still predicting that we're going to hit market equilibrium as soon as 2022. It may be more severe, but we're going to pick up with really strong demand outpacing supply by 2023, 2024. I'd say in the short term, there's some concerns, but in the long term, we're in one of the healthiest markets in the nation, if not the world. Uh, we're not going to see that, and quite frankly, I think for several years. It is going to get better, but even by the end of next year, we should be just shy of 6% in terms of overall unemployment. So it is an improvement, slow one. However, most of, not most, some of the jobs that have lost, that have lost over the course of the last several months, I'm afraid are not going to come back. So to conclude, um, you know, it's uncertain. And yes, guess what? Us economists, we are drinking way too much right now because it is that uncertainty that's out there. We know that it will get better. The question is when.